I'm Seth Shostak, and you've got The Search for E.T. SETI is just an acronym that stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and really, all it is is a kind of experiment in which we try and eavesdrop on signals, mostly radio signals, that somebody out there might be broadcasting into space. It would be like somebody playing one note on a flute standing next to Niagara Falls. The Niagara Falls part is all the noise in the receiver, all the cosmic background static, and that flute tone at one spot, at one frequency, that's the signal we're looking for. That's the telltale sign of somebody up there that's at least as clever as we are. We haven't found any life beyond Earth, not yet, but I think over the course of the next couple of decades that'll change. We've got a three-pronged approach to doing so. One, just find it on Mars, moons of the outer solar system. Two, build a big telescope and, and find oxygen or methane in the atmospheres of some planet somewhere. And three, our SETI experiments. I think one of these three horses in this horse race is gonna cross the finish line within a lifetime. Over the long term, of course, it's conceivable that we'll actually get some information that we can understand. It would be like the Native Americans finding books from Europe washed up on their shores. They probably wouldn't understand it, but on the other hand, they would know that there's somebody out there that's way beyond themselves in terms of their technology. I don't think anybody should be afraid of the discovery of life elsewhere. I think the big effect will be a philosophical one in the long term, knowing that we're just another kid on the block. But at least you'll know that we have some company and I think that's a comforting thought. Then again, maybe they'll just come and vaporize the planet. Now that would have some effect on your daily life. <laughs>